guys welcome to the channel uh, today I've got six 240 watt solar panels and I'm going to test how much power I am losing if I run that solar through a 120 foot 16 gauge extension cord uh, today is a beautiful sunny day it is Utah there's two strings of three panels put together so I have this extension cord that I've been running from my panels all the way through my garage and into my basement. So I know this extension cord is way undersized. So I got these panels uh, from Santan Solar. They're used, you can get these for under $70. And I've got my grow watt inverter here that's gonna be charging my 48 volt um, LiPo for battery. I'll have links to all these items in the description, but that's what we're gonna test. So let's see how much power we get. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uncover these. These panels are actually getting hit directly with the sun, and then we've got all this snow, and the sun's reflecting onto it. So we should be getting tons of solar power. Measuring currently 18, 17 amps coming through the wire, 1.6 kilowatts total. Okay, I'm gonna cover these one more time, and then I'm gonna plug them directly into my solar panels. So 18, 19 amps and 1.42 kilowatts coming through. So that's a 18% gain. Hey guys, so I've got the two strings of three panels wired in parallel, but I think I might switch to a different version of the grow watt uh, because I'm going to be using a little more power. So if I switch to the different version of the grow watt, instead of having three panels in series, I can have six panels in series. So my voltage will go a lot higher, but my amps will uh, my amps won't go up. So I'll I'll literally be cutting the amps in half that's going across that wire that comes into my house. So that should help a lot with the efficiency. I also need to invest in some wires, but this is just like a temporary uh, setup I have for testing. I definitely would not recommend using the uh, 16 gauge wires for uh, that many amps. So I also did a separate review of this grow watt of the battery and of the panels. I'm also working on another video where I hook this into my RV. That's kind of the end goal of this setup. I have this in my RV so I can have air conditioning. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, what else do you think I should do? These videos are pretty fun to make. Um, talk to you later.